hi guys and welcome back to our channel i know it's been a minute since i filmed thank you guys so much for sticking with me um as i said on my instagram if you're not following my instagram go follow us now on the love drug store um same as here um i said on my instagram on saturday that i was very very sick over the weekend um, i felt sick around thursday friday i got really bad um so i couldn't do anything today i'm kind of getting over it now so yeah it's, it's kind of coming out of my system now but i definitely knew i had to do this video i hope you guys like this new changes i've made i've just got a plain background now a uh, plain white wall that i'm sitting next to i think that just that'll just be better for for yeah for quality and for you know consistency and also i cut my hair i hope you guys <laughs> like it i was just so done my hair was just so the ends were so damaged it was shedding so badly so yesterday i just washed it i had a wash day and i just cut it all off i actually really love it it reminds me of my twa days the days when i had shorter hair and i actually really like it but yeah so today we're going to do our pick up and pass ups for the last two weeks actually no not last week but the week before there was not a lot released so this week or last week there was more release so i combined it all together we're gonna do all the releases that happened in the last two weeks today in this video so yeah if you want to see uh, my thoughts on what was released in the last couple of weeks okay so we're gonna start off as usual with what i have on my eyes today so today i went back to an oldie palette one of the very first palettes i bought which was from sleek as you can see like the label is completely worn off and um, this is my sleek palette in ultra mattes and it looks like this so as you can see it has lots of deep tones in there i use the purple shades in here i use this kind of lightest purple shade here and the dark purple shade here um, as my crease and deepening color i only use two shades from this palette and i forgot how pigmented this palette actually is i've had this palette for years but it still works really well i haven't used it for a very long time but it still works really well when i tested it today so i'm really pleased that i kind of dug it back out um i still have it in an area in my house because I still have to finish off my um, eyeshadow palette collection video so the ones I haven't done I still have them out so I thought today let me go back to one of the first palettes I ever bought um, which was this sleek palette obviously at that time what, five years ago or something no I know it's very old um, I wasn't very good at makeup so I didn't know what I was doing but today when I used it I really really like the quality of this of this eyeshadow the pigmentation is really really good it's absolutely insane it's so pigmented for matte shadows um so that's what i used in my crease and my outer corner today and then on my lid i just used this um primark um beam loose pigment in gold yeah i bought this from primark uh, about a month ago and i just used that on my lid so that's why i have on my eyes today nothing very simple because i'm still not feeling 100 percent so i didn't want to go overboard so yeah, so I have my eyes today. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so we're gonna start off with um with Morphe. Last week, Morphe released their thirty nine S palette, which is uh, such a gem palette. This is an all purple palette with thirty nine shades in it. It has the same setup as their. Uh, first, I think that was the 39A, the reference what they did a couple of years ago. Um, and the James Charles palette, it has the same setup, so it's one of the big, really big ones. Um, it's retailing for £35, €39 Euros or $35 uh, on all the Morphe sites. So they have a UK site, a Europe site, and a, and a original Morphe.com site for the US customers. So yeah, this palette when I first saw the sneak peek of it on Trend Mood, I was drawn to it straight away. I love the shades in there. I love that it's all purple um, and they have some really cool like duochromes and toppers. I think the middle row of the big pants are all toppers. Um, I saw a couple of videos of it already. I saw one from um, Make Me Up Missa. Um, she's very very talented um uk was well, from edinburgh she's from scotland and i saw her video on it and she created a gorgeous look on it um i've seen quite a few looks that looks really really nice so that one is definitely on my pickup list i don't know when i'm going to pick it up but i think i'm probably going to ask it as a birthday gift um 
for this year. So my birthday is not too far from now. So I think I'm going to get as a treat for my birthday. But yeah, the Morphe 389S palette, uh, the purple palette is definitely on my pickup list. The next release we're going to discuss is the Nubian 3 um, Coral Palette from Juvia's Place. Palette retails for $20, which is about £18 or €19. Euros. Um, it's an all coral palette. As you guys might know, the Pantone colour for the year is coral. So I think a lot of makeup brands are basing um, their makeup releases around that kind of color story so in this summer there's a lot of coral things coming out and a lot of watermelon things coming out as well which we'll discuss a bit later as well from another brand but yeah um it seems like a lot of brands are focusing on coral and watermelon this this um this summer but yeah it's it's cute the nubian 3 is not something that i'll be into i'm kind of steering away from oranges a lot nowadays i'm trying to be more experimental more um how do you say it more adventurous with my um color combinations um so i just don't know i just don't think it will, be, it will add anything to my collection really so um yeah the nubian 3 i think i, I would still pass i will pass over that because it's not drawing me enough to want to um to purchase it especially not from the juvia's place us site because then i have to pay shipping and i have to pay customs and all that all that stuff so yeah it's not calling me enough to do that but if you're interested it is a beautiful palette for those who are interested in that color story it will make a great summer palette but i just i'm not drawn to it enough to want to purchase it okay um so that is the nubian that is the nubian 3 palette from juvia's place the next release uh, we have is from W7. So W7, they they actually don't release a lot, a lot. You know, they are one of these brands who take their time to release, and I guess that is a good thing. Um, they released a palette called Socialite last week, and this palette is a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette, and it looks absolutely beautiful. When I first saw the palette, I was definitely um drawn to it it definitely caught my eye and it went on my mental uh wish list and i actually went on the website to kind of see if i could purchase it i was trying to do a sneaky order from them and by the time i got there the next day after release it was sold out like i was so shocked i was like oh my goodness like how did they sell out so quick it was completely sold out i know that w7 is doing a giveaway on their on the um uh, Instagram right now I think I think it's still open it might be closed by now but um they're doing they were or they are still doing um a giveaway to give away two of the palettes um but yeah it's currently sold out on the website um I, I'm sure that they'll bring it back soon so as soon as they bring it back I think I will definitely pick up this one it does retail for 11 pounds uh, 95 14 euros 20 or 15 dollars 95 yeah so it's still quite affordable uh w7 is a uk brand it's a uk site so if you're ordering in the in europe you will not get any customs but if you're ordering from the us you will so yeah just keep that in mind but at the moment it's sold out and when it comes back in stock if i'm still you know feeling it i will pick it up uh, the next release is from uh, Revolution. Uh, the Re Revolution last week, um, not last week, the week before, they released their uh, Re Revolution lip collection. So they now have like some sort of lip store or lip kind of system going on their site where you pick um, out of four different um, formulas of lipstick and then you pick your color to go with that formula. So they have... Um, they have um, the sheer lipstick, they have the bullet lipstick, the creamy lipstick, and then the matte. And then there's 24 shades in each of those formulas. Um, I think it's a very good idea. Like, it, it gives people, everybody who likes, you know, lipstick, whatever their formula pre preference is, they can get a lipstick from this range. So it's a very, very good uh, way of doing, like, a, a lip station or a lip... Um, section of the uh, uh of their brand um they have the most of the uh lipstick i've seen in there are quite nudes and pinks some a few reddish uh 
berry kind of colors as well but most of them are quite nudish colors but it's nude for everyone so they have from the lightest nude to the darkest brown to kind of suit nudes for everybody which is amazing and uh, the price range is from around three pounds to five depending on the uh, formula that you buy so I think matte the matte formula is the most expensive at five pounds um, and the the cheapest I think is the, either the sheer or the bullet um, but yeah um, I will leave links on everything and obviously I'll be putting pictures up here as we are going along so yeah that is a good collection when it comes to lipsticks I don't know I am very lipsticks buying lipsticks really stresses me <laughs> really stresses me out because I find it really hard to to choose um because of my skin tone I find it hard to find especially nudes that work for me that's why I actually prefer lip palettes um at the moment I am wearing the revolution pro lip palettes on my lips today um I just prefer the lip palettes because I can mix and match it um to get whatever look I want for that day so that's I prefer lip palettes for that reason uh, because trying to get a, sh a shade that I actually like in a lipstick I find it really hard and really stressful trying to buy it especially online when I can't swatch it or I can't kind of you know touch it and and see the color beforehand what if it gets to me I don't like it so I buy, I barely buy lipsticks to be honest guys I don't really buy lipsticks a lot uh, because of that kind of problem and that anxiety I get from purchasing it but yeah if you are interested in in these um they are available 24 shades um in four different formulas so yeah go for it for me for now I'll pass up on it if I let's say if I went to England and I was at a super drug and I saw a color that I really liked I'll pick it up no problem I don't mind only lipsticks but I just want to make sure I have the right color that I like because it can look really horrible on me very easily if i don't get the right shade so yeah so that is the uh revolution new lip collection um the next revolution product that was released was the vintage lace blush palette um so i think was it last year i think it was last year they released the vintage lace uh palette which was an highlight which was a highlighter palette and this is the blush version of it so it has a lot of kind of pinkish and a few kind of berry tones um in there but it's all shimmer blushes um i think it still has that kind of overspray uh over it to give it that patterned lace look um so i don't know some people don't like that some people don't mind i personally don't mind i don't think um i never got the vintage lace uh, palette but this actually blush palette i'm actually really interested i know that a lot of people will not be but i am really interested in it but I'm interested in it to buy and use it as a highlighter because I have a lot of gold champagne highlighters in my collection but I don't have anything that has color to it that has something different so I think it will make a, a very interesting highlighter on my skin tone especially like the berries so if I use the berries or the pinks as a topper um, a highlight topper like maybe I do a highlight and I put that on top if I do like a very um, subtle look or a bold look um, I think it will look really beautiful so I'm actually really interested in this palette um, it's retailing for eight pounds eight ninety nine or ten um, eight ninety nine euros or ten dollars so it's very affordable um, so if you're interested it is it won't break the bank but yeah I am really interested in this palette I will um 90 percent pick it up um in my next revolution order um but yeah i want to use it as a highlighter and not as a blush really because i don't think it'll work too well on my skin tone as a blush but as a highlighter a colorful highlighter i think it'll be so bomb um but yeah so it, it is shimmery if you don't like shimmer if you don't like shimmer blushes if you have lighter skin tone and you don't like shimmer blushes i i would say don't go for it but if you do like a bit of sheen in your in your blushes and you like this, these tones then i'll say go for it but yeah that is my thoughts on that one um let us jump into bh cosmetics um they have released a take me back to brazil collection so they already have the take me back to brazil palettes they have the original um take me back to brazil palette and they have the rio addiction edition which is the um the all shimmer version but now um they've kind of expanded on the original take me back to brazil palette to include um, a brush set 
uh, two mink uh, eyelashes but synthetic mink eyelashes and four piece glitter set so it's kind of an like, extension of the palette so yeah th mm, this collection you know what the glitter set the colors look really pretty it's got it's like this kind of neon yellow and this neon green in the, in the set um which i think is really beautiful I would have actually liked to buy those if it was actually a loose pigment. No, I don't really want those colors as a glitter, but as a loose pigment like this, I would be all over it. Like, a, could you imagine a neon loose um, pigment that you can use to put on your um, inner corner, the yellow especially? Oh, it would be so beautiful. Um, so I really wish it was more as a loose pigment than a glitter. Um, and for that reason, I will skip past this whole collection. The brush head is pretty, but I don't need any brushes for now. Um, and the mink lashes, mm, no. Um, but they are affordable. The brush set, there's 10, set, there's 10 pieces in the set for $22 or 24 euros. Um, the, syn the synthetic mink lashes are $8 or 10 euros each. And the glitter set is $15 or 17 euros for four glitters in the set so yeah it's not it's not um super cheap but it's not you know high-end either so it's it's a good collection i think most people were not feeling in our pickup or pass-ups for the week it got the lowest um pickups because i think people were just like why are you trying to resell us a palette that's been out for years or i don't know but people were not feeling it at all so it was like the pass up of the week basically um but yeah that was the uh, bh cosmetics i would personally pass up on it i would have only picked it up if they had those um those glitter sets was actually pigments then i would have definitely picked that up because because 15 no 17 euros for four is not actually that bad so yeah that is um that is the release from BH. Um, the next release is from Colourpop. So Colourpop um, released um, their fifth their fifth birthday um, collection um, last week, and this was um, a watermelon themed. Like you know that the the, uh, the face mask that um, Revolution released with I think his name is Jake. Jake James or Jack James, something like that. <laughs> a few weeks ago was they had some watermelon one in there, um, and I've realised that some a lot of brands are coming out with like watermelon themed stuff as well. So ColourPop is basing their whole fifth birthday collection on the watermelon theme. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. I can't go into any, everything. I'm going to pick the picture up here. Um, and if you go on my Instagram, you'll see the whole collection or the color of Instagram, you'll see the whole collection. But there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's glitters, there's an eyeshadow palette, which again is very coral based um, and some reddish tones in there. Um, there's, what else is there? Oh, that's a lot. There's a lot of things in there. So um, the whole collection ranges from £8 for like single products to £24 for sets. Um, there's face there's face or skincare stuff in there uh, that's a lot so yeah go check it out if you're interested in anything pick it up but for me i'll pass on the collection again as i said i'm not really looking to add any sort of reddish eyeshadows to my collection um at the moment so i'll pass up on the eyeshadows and the other bits no it doesn't pull me enough so i'm gonna skip past that whole colourpop fifth birthday collection the last two things are from Revolution. Um, again, so we're going to go with the Maxi Reloaded Palettes first. Um, they've released um, they are four, they've released four uh, large reloaded palettes. Like, ma like basically they are reloaded palettes to the 10th level. So there's 45 shades in each palette. There's the Big Big Love, the Large It Up. The Monster Mats and the Dream Big palettes. So these are like the Reloaded, but you know, much, much bigger. Um, I've seen a couple of swatches. I've seen a few videos. Samantha J JL has a video on her YouTube now on these palettes. And the swatches, when she did the swatches, I wasn't so impressed from the swatches, if I'm to be honest. When I saw the uh, pictures of, um, of the palettes when, on release date, 
large it up really caught my eye straight away which is the kind of like a cool tonish one um i really like the look of that one um and i was you know really contemplating picking that one up even though i know i know i do not need it i know but i was really contemplating picking up that one after her swatches my interest in these palettes have gone down a little bit i am still interested but not as much as i was before if you know what i mean um but yeah if i was to pick up any of them it will probably be large it up or big dream big dream is like the colorful palette with um with the um with like the muted mattes in there or the muted brights in there so yeah if i was to pick up any of them it'll be one of those the larger up or the big dream but at the, at the moment i'm kind of now 60 40 60 percent i'll pick it up 40 percent maybe i'll pass on it i don't need it but i might want to pick it up if you know what I mean. anyway so it's retailing for 12 pounds each or 14 euros 99 or 18 dollars each for, so for 45 shades it's actually not that bad it's it's a very good price for that amount of uh, shades so if you're interested in, in them um it's very good price for those shades um it did really well in our pick up or pass ups for this week as well it was I know that it was beaten up by the, it was beaten out by the lip collection but um only by a few votes to be honest so i think a lot of people are still quite interested in those palettes so that's the uh, maxi really reloaded it's a uh, kind of like a mm -hmm, pick up for me for that one um and then the last collection that we're going to discuss so i left it to last because child we need to discuss this um release because there has been some controversies honey so the rachel leary times revolution goddesses palace this released on wednesday everybody was excited i know rachel is very popular on youtube she has a lot of followers a lot of people like her um so when she was coming out with this palette everybody was super excited i was excited to see what the palettes will be like or what the products which was going to release i thought it was going to be a uh, highlighter palette but it turned out to be two face and eye palettes so there's the uh, ultimate goddess palette which is the bigger one with lots of um, bronzers and highlighters as well as eyeshadows in there it retails for 15 pounds 17 euros 99 or 20 dollars each and there's also the goddess on the go which is a smaller uh, travel friendly palette which is 10 pounds 11 euros 99 or 15 dollars each now when i finally saw this palette i really liked the look of the um goddess on the go palette that was the one that really attracted me the most because of the shades and especially the face um the face pans looked really nice it's not, obviously it's not deep enough to bronze anything on my face but it was good enough for me to to play with you know and i thought that it would make a good travel palette for me to do um highlight highlighter and eyes with um i liked the one that you i think she did for the bronzer um i think it's called caramel slice i thought i would make a really good highlighter on me so yeah i was very interested in that palette um I kind of still am um and the bigger one the ultimate goddess one i would kind of like now if, if i was pick up anyone it definitely will not be that one and then i started to see um people post about a shade name in the ultimate ultimate goddess palette and people were upset about the name the 666 shade name in in that in the big one and when I saw the palette, you know what, things like that, for me personally, names like that does put me off. Because for those who don't know, I am a Christian. And I don't like to bring any negativity and any, like, I just don't want to bring that kind of thing into my environment, you know? But would I say I was offended? I would not say I was offended because it's not the first time I've seen something like that in the makeup industry. It's unfortunate, but I've kind of become immune to it in a sense that I just, if I don't like the, the, oof, how would you say, the spirit or the, 
the connotation or the names or the vibe behind something i just will not buy it okay i will just skip over it i've seen lots of palettes like that which i thought oh this palette was nice and i see the same names which is either over sexualized or um very you know demonic in in nature in the names especially like cut von d palettes love to do that they love to play on like demonic names and things like that and it's really put me off some of their products in that sense um so i don't I, d I just don't play that i don't mess with that i just skip over it so in that sense because i've seen it happen so many times i would have personally just skipped over it but i do understand that people were offended people thought it was insensitive people thought that it was inappropriate um do i think that revolution should pull the palette because of it um I don't know if they should pull it. I think they should. I think they should probably address the issue. I don't personally think that Revolution meant it to offend people. I don't think they thought about it, or Rachel herself thought about it deep enough that oh, this might offend people, but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't think she thought about about it in that sense. And I want to give them the benefit of the doubt that they didn't. Um, unless they say otherwise but i don't think that revolution should ignore or rachel should ignore people's if they've seen these concerns or they've seen these um um these um people's outrage or displeasure towards this shame name they shouldn't ignore it the same way they wouldn't ignore it if somebody was offended by some a, a homophobic slur or or something that offended another group of people they shouldn't ignore it if it can if it offends this group of people if it offends christians if it, if it offends people of faith because end of the day um they've built their brand on beam some a brand that includes everybody so they should include everybody you know what i mean you, you shouldn't you shouldn't take other one one group of people's um thoughts and feelings and concerns into consideration but ignore others so i don't think it's it's right if revolution ignores these people if they've seen um the concerns and they've seen the petitions and people are saying that they are boycotting revolution people are saying that they are not buying revolution anymore because they don't think that revolution cares about you know christians or they don't think revolution cares about people of faith and they don't think that revolution is um considering um people those people that are have been fans of this or have supported them from the beginning um if they've seen these concerns that revolution and rachel needs to address it and um and let them know that and let these people know that they they they've seen it and they're they're addressing it and they are they apologize for it um so yeah that is my thoughts about that um i i don't if they if they um learn from this experience and it doesn't happen again then i don't think they should pull the palette necessarily just do better i like to give people the benefit of the doubt we all make mistakes just do better the next time but i think if people feel like they're being ignored they feel like they've been ostracized because their um opinion is not what your opinion is then that's not right you know um i've seen a couple of people who have raised this concern saying that people are now bullying them and people are now um uh, people are, are are making jokes and making fun of them because of their faith or because of their their stance on this or their beliefs on this um that is not right because if 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 somebody used um a slur that was either racist or you know as i said homophobic or any of those things and you said that you and you raised your concern about it and then the people started laughing at you then you will call that you will say that those people were racist you said that those people were homo you know you start saying that these people were horrible people so why would you then turn around the same thing you don't want to happen to you you're doing to somebody else you know what i mean so if you're if you're going to be a good human being be a good human being to everybody don't pick and choose the type of people you be good human beings to you know what i mean so every, just because the person doesn't share your thoughts and your feelings doesn't make their feelings not valid so that is my view on it i think that revolution should address it quickly just say you know that we did not ex we did not expect people to be offended by this we are sorry that people were and you know we we will just we will endeavor to do better next time that's all i think should happen from this um people might have stronger uh, opinions about it as i said i've kind of developed a tough skin being a christian 
uh, for the last eight years from this kind of thing because it's uh, yeah I see it all the time not that I'm, I ignore it but I show my I show my protest or I show my stance for what I believe and what I stand for or, or my morals by not purchasing something if it's if the names or the things that are inside or the things that it represents doesn't uh, align with what I want to align myself with so but I know that some people will have different opinions and that's okay but just be respectful that your opinion might not be somebody else's and don't don't um, ridicule them because of their own but I could also say this um, the ultimate it did, it did put a bit of a tomato in my mouth if I'm to be honest um, I, I am still kind of 80% still interested in the ultimate uh, not in the ultimate. I am I'm still kind of 80% interested in the Goddess on the Go. So that one is still kind of on the radar for me. I'm not too sure. But um yeah. That is my opinion. Let me let me know below what you guys think. Um do you think people are overreacting? Do you think that people have a valid point? Um and what do you think revolution should do in regards to this situation? But that's all we have for this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching um our next video is going to we're going to finish off my uh eyeshadow palette collection i think i'm going to do that on wednesday but until next time thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye my loves